Hello everyone, here we are again at Mobile World Congress 2024, doing, doing it all over again. And that I'm Cristina Rodriguez, I am Vice President of the Network and Edge Group and General Manager of the Wireless Access Network Division at Intel. And I'm here with Bosidar. So I'm Bosidar Radunovic, I'm uh, sort of the senior principal researcher in the CDO group of Azure for Operators and uh, very uh, eager to have grateful to work on this great um, partnership we are doing together. We have a fantastic partnership, a lot of very interesting things that we're working together that you guys are, are doing. We have uh, in, a, in a moment in the industry that is there is a massive transformation happening. The RAN network is becoming an open, virtualized network. And of course, having that visibility all the way through the entire layer of stacks is fundamental to be able to apply AI and derive benefits and services and monetization of the, of the platform. But tell us more, what are you guys uh, working on? So we recognize exactly what you said, the, the power of the flexibility of the fully softwareized platform, including the Flexron L1 and everything, to get all the data that feeds a powerful AI. And so uh, that is where we kind of started building the tools to help uh, our customers, our joint customers, operators, get the data from them to be able to understand it better, to be able to use it better. And we have released this uh, uh, software framework called Project Janus, which is now sort of uh, getting working with partners to be able to collect the data, feed it into our AI pipelines, and jointly with the uh, Flexround, jointly with uh, our Azure for Operator platform, be able to learn about problems, optimize, efficiency optimize, uh, you know, maintenance, management, and all that. So I think it's uh, the power of the two together that makes it so uh, so uh, exciting. Absolutely. Project Janus is a fundamental to get all that information that is needed to, to bring efficiency, to get the maximum out of the infrastructure. And this is why we're doing what we're doing, why a virtualization of the network all the way to layer one so you can get all those layer one data exposed and visible to the applications on top and you guys are making it possible that you have tremendous experience on the area bringing taking the best out of the telemetry that we offer at the cpu level and at the platform level and then exposing it to the to the open layers and there is a great example we did with mavenir and uh, which is uh, with the with the project janus framework and flexron they're able to get all the detailed telemetry about the IQ samples from a massive MIMO RU, which is, we know, very demanding in terms of resources, and to get it in a production setting into their analytics framework and to be able to analyze the performance and tweak their uh, massive MIMO setup. And then we've done another demo with them to be able to expose this to an X app to detect interference. So, you know, in a product network, you don't have to send somebody with a truck roll to detect this. They can sit in the control center and the AI can detect interference for themselves. And this is sort of, I, I love to see this year, these real examples with a sort of um, a production ready software, which can actually bring this really close to a customer now. And so that's the exciting bit now. And that's, that's very special because it's not just something, this is not a something that can be done. This is not an experimentation. This is actual production code and real case scenario from a from from a from a vendor, and that's a wireless vendor, a brand vendor, and that's that's fantastic. Yes, right. You you guys are also you also have the um, Azure for operators. Tell us tell us more about. It. So Azure for operators, we have a Nexus platform that um, supports the workloads. It's a CAS platform for Open Run that supports VRAN workloads. And again, it's great to uh, say that you are the first partner there and so we brought, the, the first solution we brought was with FlexRun. And so this allows you to manage your large fleet of, um, of VRAN deployments from Azure. So you have a central control plane, you can do a zero touch provisioning from ground up. You just plug in your server with uh, you know your, uh, your, 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 from your favorite vendor, bring it up and get everything uh, connected and working in so very short time. And then obviously connect with all these, the AI and the DevOps to, 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 um, to, to control all that. So I guess we get this um, sort of 
everything is streamlined and of course with the great help of your uh, run software there. This is, is great and it's a great partnership. Having, we're very happy to having that platform, that CPU that first of all has all that capability or that telemetry within it and then but also the benefit of having the AI, the possibility to run AI and apply AI right there at the CPU, at the server without, and this is I know a very important uh, aspect of what you're doing, without any penalty of latency or without degrading any of the KPIs at the overall system. Fantastic. Yeah. And I think the other great thing is now that we, with your new release of, you know, Safari with the knee, we kind of simplified us the whole architecture. We don't really need more hardware, it gets less hardware, less power to actually manage the same platform, which is definitely great to see. It's absolutely great. Bossy, that I can help to see what we're going to do moving forward, how we take this to production and to deployment, and uh, how much more is there for us in the future to transform and to bring technology and to bring state-of-the-art into the RAN network. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.